1993 AP Calculus AB Section 1, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Again, you can see it and do it. All right. I'm going to quickly go through this. One little period of two cosine three after this. Well, first thing I think you better know, we should know our parent function for cosine. We should know the picture that that goes from one to negative one through two pi. The multiplier on the inside makes this curve happen more quickly. So actually three of these curves will happen, and I'm not sure I can do this to scale, in that time. So the period is A. The two, just for information here, will stretch the amplitude of the function. So there's the first one. The answer is letter A. Problem 2, problem 14, 3x squared over the square root of x cubed plus 1. Hopefully you immediately see this as a u substitution. This is a chain rule. We're going to integrate. And again, a lot at this point, hopefully some of us would not need to do this. So I make the substitution. I see that 3x squared dx is du, so I have du on top. I see I have the square root of x cubed, so I get that as u. I would write this as u to the negative one half du, add one to the power, u to the half divided by half, plus c. All right, so now I just have to see that I'm going to flip that up. And I'm going to have two times as the coefficient when I flip up half, one over half. So there's only one of these answers here that has a two. All right, and that's letter a. And that is the answer to substitute that. All right, so again, two problems, hopefully just a minute, all right? So we're trying to work our head here, trying to always get ahead. 15, for what value of x does the function f of x equal x minus 2 times the quantity x minus 3 squared have a relative mass? All right, so I'm going to do the first derivative here, all right? And I'm going to have, I'm going to do the product rule, all right? I'm going to have f times g. And again, we remember that when we try to take a derivative of f and g, that's f prime g plus g prime f. So f of prime of x equals the derivative of x minus 2 is simply 1. So I have x minus 3 squared plus x minus 2 times the derivative of that, which is 2 times x minus 3 times 1, chain rule from the inside. So there is f prime. So now the question becomes, when I look at this, can I see that there's a common factor? of x minus 3. So I'm going to pull that out because again without a calculator this becomes more of an exercise of algebra. So I pull out this one and this one and I'll distribute the two. So I get plus 2x minus 4. And again if I try to simplify this, I'm going to slide this down the board a little bit. If I try to simplify this, I get x minus 3 times 3x minus 7. All right, so I have two possibilities. I have 3 or 7 thirds. Make the derivative 0. So listen, this is a polynomial. It's continuous everywhere, all right? It's differentiable everywhere. I notice right away that there is no possibility at this point that the critical points are positive 3 and positive 7 thirds. What makes these two parts equal to 0? So I look and there's not even 3 of an answer. So it has to be D. Now, if a, a better distractor here would be to change one of these two to positive 3. So you would at least have to do the first derivative rule and make sure that there's a change of sign. For a relative maximum, it should go positive to negative. So when I look on each side of 7 thirds, I think of 0, which makes it positive. You plug in f prime of 0, which is greater than 0. Then I think f of, say, I'm going to have to go like 2 and a half, which is annoying. I get negative, positive, so that's less than 0. So I can show that it changes signs to the first derivative. But the answer is d. But I did not have to prove it this time because only one of the critical points was listed. 16. 
the slope of the line normal to the graph, y equals 2 ln x secant x at x equals pi over 4. Okay, normal means perpendicular. That's usually one of the problems students have at this point. And that means I have to know the change line to find the perpendicular line to that curve at the point of pi over 4. So I'm going to take the derivative, find the value of pi over 4, and then do the, the opposite reciprocal. So a lot of work here. Again, I start here, y prime equals 2, the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, or in this case it would be secant x, times, we all know the derivative of secant is secant tangent, the secants will cancel and I get y prime. All right, so when I do this, I plug in pi over 4, and they give you pi over 4 in a reason, guys. Tangent of pi over 4, tangent of 45 degrees, one of our standard triangles. Tangent of that is 1 over 1, so I get y prime equals 2. The answer is not d. That is the tangent line. They want the normal to that. So so the m perpendicular is, flip it and change the sign, and the answer is letter B. The last one, 17, is right here. And it's the integral of, it's an in-depth integral, so it'll be plus C. They all have plus Cs. Uh, the quantity x squared plus 1 squared. A lot of students see this and they say, oh, I'm going to set u equal to x squared plus 1 and du equal to 2x dx. But the problem is when you search, there is no 2x here. All right? So we're not going to be able to do a u substitution. All right? I quickly say, hey, it's just a binomial square. A binomial square is a trinomial. And you guys should know this, but I'm making sure that we don't make a mistake on this. So I'm just going to square it out. And then this becomes a really easy, really easy. Quickly look, there's only one answer that has three terms, letter E. Alright? Don't get caught forgetting the fact that sometimes it's easier to multiply out. Can't really do a U substitution with this problem, okay? Again, keep practicing, AP's coming.